Right, I've just popped this little bit of video in before the other one, part two, because people are asking what books I use, so I had to go and find them. I had trouble finding this one, actually. I must say, it was up in my house, so luckily I found it. And that was the other book. Okay, so that was the big pages. That was the Reader's Digest one. I got it from a charity shop, I think. There we go. Make sure that's in frame. Okay, quite a new book, you know, but it's got some wonderful pages in because, like I said, you can cut these down into your tall tags if you want to, and it's got a nice bit about the actual, you know, in that in those panels, everything sort of lends itself to tag shapes, which I really like, and this was like full of flowers, wildflowers. And, and it goes to non-flowering mushrooms. Look at those. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. Definitely going to look for some more of these because they're really good. And it's got, I don't know what actually is, wildlife plants and flowers. Yeah. So it's got some, and that's a lovely squirrel there, look. So it's a good book, that one. And it's got fish and everything. Water life. Yeah. Ponds. On my rodents, everything. And butterflies. Like I say, I've had a few of these out, so a few birds. Yeah. There we go. Trees. So I like that book. It's a good one. So that was um, the big pages. No, yeah. Did I use it as a big page? That's that. There's that, and I also didn't I cut one up or cut the end bit off and and used it in there. I haven't used, I haven't done anything with that yet, but that's going to go in that little envelope there. Yeah. So that's that one, and the other one, which is the little pages. Oops. Was which was this one here. Which looks like it was an old school book of mine. Because <laughs> it's this book. And that was my old school. So, yes, 1974. I must have uh, liked butterflies then. <laughs> or insects. And I took that out of the library. And I still have it. Sorry. <laughs> Right, so that was that one. There's some other little books. These little books are quite good. Um, that one now. Okay. Just got some nice little pictures because again, these these make nice tags, tags or journaling cards because they're a nice, you know, thin shape and small. And look, so nice to cut out those. Yeah, it's quite well. It's quite a few pictures of them. There's loads, really. So I just found this one looking for looking for the others. So so they're nice little books. And then um, I picked this one up recently. It's quite a new, again. It's quite a new one, but like an updated version, really. But there's still some, you know, nice things that that look great. Tea stain, but just on the smaller scale yeah which fussy cut any of those out just for a bit of difference yeah so I thought that was quite nice that page there I think I've got that butterfly well most of them I'd have actually but I don't know just rip a book page out and do it up it's sometimes it's nice isn't it Yep, so, oh, and I did find this one, which is another Reader's Digest. Like I say, I picked these up at charity shops. Um, that was a field guide to wildflowers of Britain. It was Reader's Digest, yeah. And again, these are some nice ones. I quite like these. And they're nice paper. It's not shiny. It's like a satin finish. But they tea stain really well. They don't go too dark, but they just sort of dull down a bit. So that, that's another nice one. 
So that's the sort of books I use. Yeah. Right, let's get on. Um, I've got this envelope here that needs using up and I thought that would look nice as, you know, a pocket there, I think. Yep, so I'm sort of make sure that's covered. So what I will do is maybe cut that off there because I can stitch this one in because I haven't put the signature together. So I just put that down and it can go there and then let's come in a bit there okay. cut the top off and then make that into a pocket that there and I think We've got enough to come up as well. We have, yeah. So it's going to look like that. That's got my size. I'm not going to worry about um, gessoing the back of that. I'm just going to put some pockets in and everything first. So, and I'm going to stitch mine in so I don't need to make any flaps at all. All right. So I am going to trim along there and then actually might sew it first it'll fall apart oh no that's okay yep i'll just go and trim that okay and then we can put a hole in this one i use mainly for things like this the one inch punch oops Okay, so I'm going to ink up first and then I am going to use a bit of gesso, yeah. Because I do like the texture, but like I say, you don't need to do this. That's just my way. I found that and I thought it was a good colour match for what we're doing. I don't know if I've ever used that one. And that's for fabric, paper, wood and more. So that's good. Fabric. Might be able to do something with that. Chance of using it. Just have a little bit. Uh, dry brush this. Today, I think. Okay. I'm covering this anyway, so I just really want to do sort of around the outside, to be honest. So you only see bits of it, so yeah, I'm not going to worry too much. Let's pick some paper, right? So I'll put that there. Whoops, I think I missed the bit where I covered that. Sorry about that. Forgot to put it back on once I went and trimmed it. So I'll just put this one on. This is really strange paper I had here that I printed on, but I still I quite like it. But it's um yeah, it's the right way up. Um really odd colour. It's like almost grey. Oops, silly me. 
and um, when it prints out it gives a really dull dull look usually quite bright but it's okay for this okay. and that's it right let's have a look so you must probably stitch it down to the pocket I can because I quite like stitching I think I'm going to use black stitching yeah, I'm just going to go there so I have a pocket at the back as well and I have one there yeah okay so I'm just going to glue it in place so it doesn't move but only a bit Right, I'll go and stitch around that. Here we go. Um, it's not lending itself to much lace, but I'm still going to add some. And I've got this very delicate one that I thought would look nice just along there. Yep, I like that. It's just a little bit. So I'm going to have something down here. come through a bit there if that stays like that and doesn't dry then I will put either another layer of lace along there or something I'll cover it I always do so I'll leave it see what happens just a little bit come through isn't it very fine this is but I just thought it looked good there okay right let's do a bit of something going on here Right, what have I got? Oops. <laughs> okay, all right, got one of Trace's tickets that come with her kit there. Well, that is going to go in the pocket, I think. And that's one of mine. And that's come with the kit there. And butterfly, there we go. So, let's have a look. Right, and there. Just glue down that bit there for a minute. So I can peel that up. Okay. I just want to stick a bit more under there. Like that. There we go. Do you want to come in a bit? Do we? I think we do. There we go. Right, what have I chosen? Oh, that's dried. That's fine. There we go, we've got these bits there. I, I, I'm going to back everything, but I'll do all that off camera, okay? That one, look, I thought looked nice there. Um, yeah, I'll back all these because they're only on sort of thin card at the moment. Um, 
Yeah, I quite like that. Butterfly poking out there. And something like that. Okay. And once that's back, that'll be firmer. It's a bit floppy. Yeah. And then stuff coming out of there. I like that. It's okay. Okay. This always um this this is printed on quite thick paper. It's about one sixty, I think. I do the first one a little bit firmer sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one done. But I'm gonna leave that open just in case. Any gluey bits? No. Oh, maybe a little bit there. So I'll keep that one open and then we shall go on to inside of that one right i think because we've got a bit of blue here we we'll use something like this this is the, um that funny paper that i said about that sort of got a gray tinge but i love it and i'm going to use it for pockets and things like that so i usually print the kit out a couple of times but i thought i was gonna i'm gonna try and go sort of around that it's going to be a pocket sort of like that really and then we can utilize that butterfly i'm sure i can i think i can just cut that off yep like that and then i'll back it with a bit of um Dictionary paper. It needs to be a bit thicker actually. I'll get a book page. There we go. I've got a bit of music paper as well. I was safe with that. Okay. I'm going to cut that where that line is there, okay, and I'm going to cut to the top of that too. That's going to go there, I'm just going to ink up, I'm going to stitch around this bit first. Actually, it just feels a bit bulky just there, I don't really want too much showing. That's where I get rid of it sometimes and it disappears. Yep, that's better. Didn't want too much. Right, I stitched around that. So I'll just go and stitch that in and then we've got our pocket. Actually, I'm going to glue that a little bit first. Just in case it slips. Oops. Right, I'm going to show you what, while that's drying, I'll just show you what I've done for the pocket to go in there. I um, haven't got anything down here yet, I quite like that number nine though. Um, I've got, I cut one of the, I have to be backed onto card, but those out of the, one of the pages, yeah, because I didn't put no jumbo tags in, but these lend itself to, you know, you choosing what you want, really. So that's going to go there. That there, and that there, like so. Then, because I cut a bit off the bottom of this one here, somewhere like that, 
I cut two bits off actually because it still was a bit long so I've cut all that off and I'm going to use that as a bit of washi tape on the page and I'm going to glue that on there I might even stitch it as well just for an added bit of interest so I'll glue that down and this page I am um, I think I'm going to sew all the way around as well I'm just going to put that there, pretend it's a bit of washi tape. It looks like washi actually. <laughs> yeah, I won't, I, because I'm sewing all the way around, I won't stitch that. If I was just stitching the pocket, that would look quite nice stitched. Hold on a minute. No, I'm going to stitch all the way around that. I've decided. <laughs> oh, can we ink that up? Those two I wouldn't back, but that one, the other one, definitely. Yep. And just put some lines on there. It's all cut in coffee stains, so. Right, off to the machine I go. Right, I was determined to sew around there, so I did. And um, what I've done here was just back that, like so, and I left all that on there because I actually quite like the look of that. It's quite a grungy page. Um, I, I'm not minding this bit of white at the moment. I think it's because of this. It seems quite balanced. And it goes there and then that goes there and I think you know with that that little tiny bit of paper up there it's just brought back together yeah so that's the inside of that one done yep and so that'll be three inside covers today which I do like to do something on that page a pocket quite a large pocket on each one and here is this one. So I've got that here. Um, I just... Right. I'm just thinking two of those pockets look nice there. Looking at that. Here we go. I cut them out. I found them. Cut them out. And they are... I think I'm going to go there. I like that. That looks quite good. You see me centre line. Uh, give them a bit of a burnish and any glue, and I'll mop up quickly. And I, I thought um, those tags would fit in. I used to do the flip tag, you know, the four together, those ones. So I've cut them out because I have a feeling they are going to fit in. I'm not going to leave them in there because they'll get stuck. But but they're going to, yeah, I reckon... 
I'm not going to leave them in there though. But I'll just go over the page, which can look quite nice, or we can just trim them back a tiny bit. Yeah, that, I'm liking that. And that's the two that I've chosen. I haven't chosen the same ones as that pattern because I think sometimes it's a little bit overload. So I wanted to go for something plainer. Right, so that goes there, but I usually like to decorate this a little bit. So I need something down here, a bit of lace or a bit of something, a bit of net. Ooh, I wonder if I've got any net handy. Because sometimes that can be an actual another pocket. This is quite grungy, this one. It's I'm going to put that in because I always add a bit of lace, even though it's not a lacy journal. <laughs> I just saw something there. A bit of sorry, sort of chiffony sorry stuff. That would be nice for the top of the tags. Yeah, I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to again stitch around this page. Top off works better. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a bit top and bottom there. Tight. just in case you want can use that as a pocket you see actually put a bit of glue down that middle so I don't want to stitch the middle Okay, I'll go and set that. Okay, so around the pocket, well not around the pocket, around the page and then here as well. So what I'm going to do here, I haven't sewn here you see. Um, shall I? No, I'm not going to. Right, what I'm going to do is just add a bit of glue. Okay, and then that can be utilised as a little pocket. And also when the, when it's sewn in, it won't um, flip through even if it's not done brilliantly. Because the signature will be in the way. <laughs> right. yeah. And then I just put the grommet in the top and just did cut a little bit off that. Okay, it still should, yeah, perfect. Oh, and then found that, didn't I? So, Hopefully it's dry. What I'm going to do, I'm just a bit worried about keeping it there. I'll just do that for a minute. I think it's all right actually. No, my luck. It'll, I'll glue it in there. there and I think because this is already ready and that fits on there beautifully I'm going to go ahead and do that as well yep. 
So I'm going to ink up around here and then I'm going to stitch this on to there. There we go. Okay, so that was that pocket. And that one there. And that one there. Okay. Oh, too far over. Yeah, I'll just take a picture of that. That was really nice, didn't that? <laughs> right, okay, well that's it for today, but I'm um, not sure how long this video will be. If it's only, you know, half an hour, I might join it to another one, but if you, um, if it's 40 minutes, I'll, I'll upload this one. Okay, so thank you very much for watching then, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Right, so what I'm going to do today is sort out where I want the lace, okay, on each signature because I'll stitch it in. Sometimes I add more when I, you know, when I've put it together and I think, oh no, I need a little bit more. But because there's three signatures, I want to even it out, okay. So I do tend to do it them together with the lace, yeah, but I'm going to also add it. I do the first page, yeah, and I'll do the last page, but I won't do the first page of the other one, I'll do the middle, it's, it's something like that, well I can show you when I do it, alright, but I'm going to do the first page of this, and this is what I've got, what's the width of this, I don't have too wide, too wide a lace for this, oops, Usually about quarter, half an inch, I would say. Yeah, it's half an inch ish. That one might be a little bit over, but I'll come in a little bit with that one. There we go. Just, just over half an inch. But basically the same. Yeah, and I've got there's three different kinds there, and three different colours really, but they're all they all tone in together yeah so that's what I'm going to do so I get that done and then if I got to do some more stitching I have which I will stitch down this again so I'll do like like I said that bit first and then I go into the signatures a bit all right and see how it's looking like I say, it's just going to be it's not too much lace, really. I'm going to come out a bit with that one it's because I know the signatures are going to grow, okay? So this one I always put furthest that way, yeah? Make this page a little bit bigger, just in case. Okay, but I won't stitch them until more things have been put in the journal, right? Just in case, because you can rip them off, all right? But once they're stitched in, you can't. No. <laughs> bit of tension on it okay I usually like to check it from the other side and see it better yeah let's 
there and then on this one okay I'm just going to do the end one right for now Oop. Like there okay I wasn't going to use any lace that's why I stitched it but I ended up thinking nah I am <laughs> That's what happens with me. There's, there's no set plan. I just go with it. What will be, will be. And I'll check that side. It'll just come out a little bit. Okay, so I'll go and do the other one and then I'll come back when that's done. So we're getting some kind of balance going on already. Okay, and that's the way it's looking now. You can see that. Alright, so I've gone first page, last page, missed the first page and gone to the last page. Yeah. So that looks like that and then again missed the first page but done the last page yeah and that works out good for that so I mean that could be enough yeah and that's sometimes how I put us where how I do my pom-pom trim as well right so what I'm going to do now is middle of each si signature I always cut a bit shorter yeah so each of those is going to have um, a piece of lace in but I'm not going to I'm going to put it on so that it doesn't come over the page yeah so it's literally like that so I'll do one and then we can go from there actually I think I might use that one that looks a good tone for that okay see you feel better getting it out of the signature than do so so I want to just test it so let's give it a bit of a tightness there just to all right and I will just place that in there to see how that looks yeah so we're way you know if you look at that now we're way off all right so I've got to I usually get my acetate out so we can put that on again because that was not right. That's better. All right. That's there. And then do the other side the same. We have got time to maneuver it with that glue, which is great. Now I'm going to shut that and just see, make sure it doesn't come out too much. No. All right. Here we go. That's all the middles done. All right. So I am going to go ahead and stitch all that now because I'm happy with how that's looking for now. It doesn't mean to say that I might add a bit of lace, you know, in between here somewhere on each one later on. I most probably will. But I'm quite happy with that, the way that's looking. Right, it's just so time for me. You know, again, I do this at different times. I do it when I feel like it. Okay, it's not, I don't do it at any certain time at all. All right, but I do fancy doing it now. So I'm going to go over and I'll show you a few pages and then I'll go right the way through the journal now. Um, I think I'll dry brush today, like I say, and that changes. Sometimes I use a daily sheet, sometimes I just do use a credit card, you know. I, I really, there's, I have no rhyme reason. It's just, I like to play, really. So I'll just put a dollop of that on. A dollop. 
<laughs> and I'm just going to just grate. Go through the book. It's gone a bit hard, that one, because I didn't wash it out, did I? That's all right. And I'm not going to over gesso this one. Just here and now. I usually keep my bits of plastic for this. Packaging is great. I'm a little bit more on there. But I quite like this effect going here, so I don't want to spoil that. I should have put that over there, really. Make it easier. I do tend to pick up from my left. I'll just leave that open. Actually, I'm going to move that over there. Oh, you hear the wind. I don't know whether you can, but it's getting up again. And rain. <laughs> Actually, I don't normally do that page. I prefer to just... Oh, hailstones. Ooh. Well, not too bad, actually. It's just really heavy rain. I'll just let that one dry and go through like I normally do. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Dry brush in. Dries really quick. So, actually, I'm just going to put a bit down there. Like that. And I'll get some more plastic. There we go. It's sounding a bit rough out there. Yeah, it's really good weather Ooh, for ducks at the moment. It's, gosh, it's quite horrible out there. I'm not sure whether I'm crossing over too much with my arm. It's so lovely. I don't know if you can see the results of all that on there. It's actually looking really good. It's subtle as well, you know. It's not overpowering. Just pick up a bit each time. Look at that lovely brush. <laughs> brush art. <laughs> say this is just my way of doing it you know there's I there, I don't know if there's a right or wrong way I just literally have fun okay because at the end of the day I think that's what it's about okay that first one should be dry now Shove that in now. I'm going to leave all that. I'm going to put a little bit on this line paper though, but not much. Just so it's, just to give a bit of texture. I do like to go off the page as well. Unless everything draws everything in like that, where I prefer to go out to make everything look bigger rather than shrink it down. I really enjoy this part. <laughs> I suppose some of you find it quite tedious, but I just like the results, so. I'm going to definitely do a bit on here, a bit more on this, yeah. One, it seems to um, protect it, although oh, my gesso is not gritty at all, okay. Some of you say it's a little bit gritty, yeah, 
I would go for the cheaper one or make it yourself. Well, apparently, um, my my son has just sent me a photograph, well, about half an hour ago, that the school, he's at college, but a school near him, they apparently went to Italy on holiday, skiing, and they've all been sent home, and they're on lockdown there, uh, for two weeks, because of this, is it coronavirus? Oh, dear. So, yes, it's hit us now. I think it's precautionary though. It's they're not saying that anybody's got anything. Okay, I sort of if you look what I've done then, I sort there was a pattern here and I sort of followed that but went off the page with the gesso. So, I quite like doing that. I do that quite a lot, actually. I didn't realise I did until I sort of analyse what I do myself. <laughs> All right. I reckon it takes an hour to do the three signatures. 